what do Porsches, McLarens, other vehicles that cost more than my first house have in common? Well, Javed of Dream Card Gurus is our guest today, and he sells those vehicles for his clients and much more. Javed is such a cool guy. He has um, become a very well-respected luxury consignment reseller for vehicles and has opening up his car dealership this year. And when I asked him if he could come on our show and just share some information about being a consignment reseller for those type of high-end vehicles, he was excited to join us. And I'm very glad to have him on the show today. So make sure you guys listen in because you're going to want to hear the wealth of information that he has to offer. Let's get started with the interview. Welcome to Paladin Global Market. I am so excited to have with us today, Java Gul of Dream Car Gurus. Java, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Michelle. Absolutely. Well, I, I'm i so in, um, I'm very interested in your story. I think you have a really cool story. I know that you and I met through a personal friend a couple of years ago, and it's been really cool to hear first and then see your journey in this industry. Can you tell our listeners a little bit about um, what you do currently with your business? Absolutely. So we are a independent dealership. We specialize in luxury performance and exotic cars. Yeah. So we buy cars, we sell cars, we source specific cars for our clients, and we do offer consignment as well. Nice. And what got you into this industry in the first place? So I was always car crazy and still mm-hmm. am uh, from a very young age. It's uh, kind of the only hobby that I truly followed through, um, you know, more than sports or music or anything else. So mm-hmm. when I got out of college, I wanted to do something car related and mm-hmm. I got into the dealership um, model. I started off as a service for a Mercedes Benz dealership. Right. And I kind of stayed in the car business since then and worked my way up um, all the way up to sales. And now here we are. I love it. And so as um, as I've heard recently on your journey of launching your own, um, going out on your own with your business, and I know that you've helped many consignment clients over the years, what are some of your uh, favorite stories that you have um, from that experience? Oh, well, you know, along the way you get to meet, aside from the cool cars, you get to meet some yes. really interesting individuals and I get excited by hearing their stories and um, each one of these cars, as special as they are, for the most part, they have a story behind the car and why they bought the car. And, you know, ranging from doctors, engineers, business owners, uh, time is of the essence to them, just like for most of us. And so a lot of times they don't want to deal with selling their car on their own. So they turn to somebody who is an expert in that field who they can trust with their car and you know, these high dollar cars that they don't want to deal with phone calls and text messages and filtering through buyers and who's real and who's not. Right. Um, that's where we come in. That's awesome. And it's a, it's a great service. I know that this, that's been something that I have encountered as well with vehicle consignment. Right. It's they, the time is of the essence, you know, and then the little bit of the unknown, especially when they're dealing with such a large sale, um, right. wanting to know someone who knows what they're doing that can help get them the most for their vehicle, but also make it a smooth process for them. Has that been your experience as well? Yes, it has, especially things with paperwork, um, you know, tax credits, things like that. They just don't want to deal with it on their own. And they'd rather have somebody who can be accountable for that and do it the right way. Absolutely. So, so I have to ask, because I know that you are a car enthusiast. This is something that you have enjoyed, like you said, since you were young, what are some of your favorite cars that you've sold so far? Oh, favorite cars that I've sold. There's too many, but (laughs) Porsche's in general are my favorite, you know, they're one of my favorite brands, um, in terms of some McLarens, we've sold Mm -hmm. really unique McLarens along the way, but, um, I don't have any particular one that's my all-time favorite. <laughs> it's just fun to like, see. I love yeah. your pictures on your social media of the different cars that that you've had. Uh, that has to be a lot of fun to um, be able to work with something that you enjoy so much and then yeah. also help clients in the process. It is. It's uh, it's always exciting. And, you know, every deal, there isn't any deal where it's not fun. I mean, yeah. when things get hard, you still kind of find a way to enjoy yourself along the way, so... Absolutely. 
That's awesome. So, so our audience may be people that are one curious to see if they want to sell their own vehicle themselves, right. or maybe after, you know, doing some research, they're like, you know, maybe this is not in my wheelhouse. Maybe I should let someone like you help me to sell the vehicle. Is there, um, any tips that you can give them first if they are looking to sell their own vehicle? Absolutely. One of the things is, you know, we live in a digital world now. So yeah. every buyer and every seller is quite educated because the tools that are available to everyone at their fingertips, um, car gurus, you know, you can use their evaluation tool. Mm -hmm. um, they use all the market data and they kind of give the consumer on both ends uh, a good scope of what the car is worth and where it should be priced at. So after that, it kind of comes down to, do they want to invest their own time and deal mm -hmm. with people calling to test drive or maybe somebody wanting to finance it? Um, they'd have to be the middleman at that point. So right. it comes down to their comfort level and you know if they'd want to do that. All right, absolutely. And then if it's someone that is looking at actually having their vehicles consigned with you, what, um, what would that process look like for them? So we offer, we, we do two things. If they would want to just sell it outright, we mm -hmm. would offer them a, you know, nice. a purchase offer, um, all cash. We would buy it so they wouldn't have to worry about that. And if they wanted to net a little more and they weren't in such a hurry to sell, then the mm -hmm. consignment offer would, would make sense for them. Um, we do full photographs, videos, and you know all the marketing of the vehicle from A to Z. And mm -hmm. sold. we handle all the paperwork as well. And we facilitate the transaction. So until their vehicle doesn't leave their hands, that's that's how our process works. That's awesome. And so I have found that with the consignment model, sometimes it does, especially with the more high end or the luxury vehicles, it can take a little bit longer. What do you find is um, your time period that you've seen in your experience that it takes? And I know price and there's a couple of different factors in that, but as a, as a general rule, what have you seen for sales? So Lately, it's been interesting over the last several months um, as the market has gone up and, you know, starting yeah. to stabilize a little bit. So we are mm -hmm. seeing some changes. Um, I won't really say it's dropping catastrophically like some people say it is. It's it's more becoming normal or whatever yeah. normal was per se. Right. So it depends because we were at a time where some cars can sell in a week and then some cars can take maybe 30 to 40 days. So what we do is, depending on the car, we'll analyze the market. We'll sit down with the client, show them, you know, where it's at, where it was at, and where we think it's going to go. And we'll come up with the price that everyone's comfortable with. And then based on that, we'll market the car accordingly. That's awesome. And so you, I know you and I both are here in Orlando, Florida. If it's yeah. someone that is out of the city, um, do you work with people that are, are not local to you? Yes, we do. So we will consign a car pretty much anywhere across the U.S. Nice. Um, depending on where they're at, you know, we'll still get the photo team out there, do photos, videos, um, have the car transported to our facility if that's something they want to do, and yeah. then handle it from there. That's fantastic. I always like to dive in whenever I have experts in their industry like you are and right. learn a little bit about your struggles um, as you got to came to who you are today. Can you share with us um, some one of the biggest challenges you may have encountered getting to this point in your business? Sure. Um, I wouldn't say it's much of a challenge, but you know there are times where when you're in this business, things are going well and you, you know, depending on if you're entrepreneurial or not, or if it's a goal of yours to go out on your own, you kind of get tempted. So, yeah. um, you know, I have tried that a few times along the way on the journey and um, it just wasn't at the right time. So it, with that being said, stayed in the car business, you know, worked my way up. And, um, you know, one of my former managers, um, he has a saying that there's no substitute for seat time. And I'm a firm believer in that, you know, oh, I like that. it's definitely, you got to put in the work, sit yeah. tight, and it's, it's who you meet along the way and build your portfolio and, you know, it'll open unlimited doors. Yeah. I've, I've saw, I've learned that myself over the years. I know that, um, uh, I've had my own business, gosh, since Haley was a baby. So almost, right. well, 18 years now, which is crazy. Wow. Um, but there was a season of time when she went back into school that I helped, uh, run a dental practice. And I have to say that I've learned so much 
during that process that I didn't expect about running a business, that seat time, like you talked about, um, things that um, have molded and shaped me to who I am today as a business owner. Um, so I think that's excellent advice. You, you've got to pay your dues, so to say, right? Correct. In that environment. So tell us, is there um, any advice you would give someone if they're looking to do consignment like we're doing, um, if they're looking to start this, whether it's vehicles or anything else, is there any advice that you would um, pass along to them? Sure. So with that being said, you know, to follow up on the seat time, um, especially with these high dollar cars, yeah. it's uh, credibility, transparency. Those are key ingredients. Without that, you know, you can't consign these cars and, and hide things from both buyers and sellers. So right. um, wanting to start something, it's definitely you've got to have a, an existing book of business, in my opinion, Mm -hmm. to start off of. It's not saying it's impossible to start with nothing, but it does help, especially with the high dollar cars. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Because they're entrusting a lot. They've worked a lot of years to get to that point, to be able to Absolutely. purchase that vehicle. And they want to know someone's going to take excellent care of that whole process for them in the process. They want to, they're, they're trusting you for that. Um, sure. So that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Um, what would you say do do you find that word of mouth is your biggest referrals or a combination of many things? It has been. So once we, once I went out on my own and we opened up a place earlier this year, um, mm -hmm. in the beginning stages, you know, you kind of go from being a brand of your own and then now having a dealership and it's not, it's still a new company, right? So right. it's, it's a word of mouth and referrals kind of get you up and running in the beginning because back to that track record, you have people who've trusted you in the past and know your, your work ethic um, and they kind of help. So it's all word of mouth in the beginning. That's awesome. Is there some things that you would recommend as a, just as a business owner in general? Um, Cause I know day to day running a business, we're, we're, pretty, we're wearing many hats, so to say, right. Where, especially for you, uh, building that your dealership and the things that you are um, working through in this time, is there any, um, things that you do on a daily basis that has really helped you, like maybe disciplines or things that really help to make a smaller, smoother process? Yeah, just having, um, you know, systems in place and just kind of having a routine, essentially, yeah. because um, like you said, we're wearing many hats, um, especially right now, it's general manager, it's lot porter, it's, um, you know, coordinating transports, it's essentially a one man show right now. Yeah. And, um, it's, Kind of how I get it done is just having a routine every day to kind of fill everything in and make sure it gets addressed. I love that. I love that. And I know that when you and I met um, before, you shared something that I'd love to share with the audience. And that's the priority that you've put on your family time, trying to balance it out between being a business owner and being an entrepreneur, but also taking that time to put those blocks of time aside right. and make, make family um, priority. Is there some things that some advice you could pass along to our listeners who are entrepreneur, they're looking at how to juggle that as well? Um, I like to say it's like, you know, you, especially being that we're parents, right? right. We don't have one shot at doing that and doing it good. Um, mm -hmm. You can start a hundred different businesses. You can make a lot of money. You can do whatever you want, but there's always going to be more tries and more chances for that. But it's, um, mm -hmm. you know, I prioritize family time over anything else first and make sure that that doesn't really get pushed aside you know once in a while you have to when you're running a business but right overall that's um that's at the top of the to-do list I love that I'm I'm I think that's something that I'm always, even though my daughter is now driving and in college, you still, it's always a balancing act, right? To try to continue to reprioritize um, and making yeah. sure that they stay at the top, even if we got a lot of stuff going on, right? Right. That's awesome. Javid, is there any, um, any tips or any words of advice you'd like to leave our audience with today? Um, not necessarily, but I like to say, you know, if, if there's anyone out there that wants to pursue something or they have an idea, um, just take it and run with it. You know, yeah. the worst that could happen is you try and it doesn't work out, then at least, you know, you tried, right? Absolutely. I love that. I, I, fearless. I, say that again. It's all about being fearless. Just, just do mm -hmm. it. You know? Absolutely. I think sometimes analysis paralysis, it, I, I think as the older that I get, the, um, 
the more reserved I am to step out on things. I love that I started this journey when I was young and I didn't know any better. I've just right. leaped out into it. Um, but I think that's great advice, Shava. Thank you. Be fearless. And um, you've got this passion in your heart. You need to go and at least pursue it, right? And Correct. see and walk it out. So you don't have any regrets in that regards. Absolutely. Awesome. So please share with our audience how they can find you if they're looking at possibly um, wanting to have you help them with their consignment of their vehicle or looking to sell a vehicle as well. So we are dreamcargurus.com. We're on social media as well, Instagram and Facebook at dreamcargurus. And, you know, our contact info, email, it's all on there. Awesome. And I'll make sure I link it in the show notes in the description below for our audience. Javed, I really appreciate, I know that you're a busy man um, and I appreciate you taking time out of your day to come join us today. Thank you so much. And we wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too.